Hey guys, so I enjoyed taking that one H2O quiz so much that I decided to take another one of their H2O quizzes. And so we are back on Buzz, BuzzFeed's website and we are going to take another quiz. And so once again, I will start recording my screen so I can put it up here somewhere. And this one is called This H2O Just Add Water Quiz will take you back to the naughties. What? I've never heard that word before, but it sounds like something different. <laughs> Um, but okay, so where's the show set? Gold Coast, Australia. The show doesn't explicitly state that it is set in the Gold Coast, but that's where it's... Yes, it does! It absolutely does! Like, in more, more than once in the show, it's, uh, it states that, like, in the episode where... Kim finds Cleo's diary and sprays water on her during that pageant. She says, I knew it, there are mermaids on the Gold Coast. Then also in the episode where Cleo is left to look after her cousin Angela and Kim, And she's trying to get out of it, like, what am I going to do with them? It's, her dad is like, you've got the whole of the Gold Coast. You'll figure something out. So actually, it does state that. So, where do the girls first receive their mermaid gifts? Mako Island. Wait. Is Breakfast Island an actual island? I don't think so, but that would be hilarious. Mako Island is located approximately 50 kilometers from the shores of the Gold Coast, which is how the girls could get to it by boat. Or by fin. <laughs> what effect does the full moon have on the girls? It, they are completely different. Like, my favorite moon spell is when they all start acting really happy for whatever reason. Cleo's like, the moon is silver. I like silver. And there are all three of them get hit and they're all so giggly. It obviously depends on the kind of full moon, but generally the full moon makes the girls act completely out of character. Yeah, that's true. Who tricked the girls into going to Mako Island at the beginning of the show? Zane. A local bad boy and also rich boy. Plays a prank. And... So we've got a Zodiac without a spark plug, just kind of floating with Cleo in it, who can't swim. What triggers the girls to transform into mermaids? The touch of water. I swear, if it was a personal choice, it would be a lot easier, but the show would be less entertaining. Yep. Unfortunately, every time the girls make contact with water, they're almost instantly transformed into their mermaid selves. A tad con inconvenient, if you ask me. Oh yeah, it's extremely inconvenient. Who in the group can boil water as their superpower? That would be Ricky. In later seasons, she can also control fire and lightning. Zuko is quaking. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, that, that is pretty true. 
I mean, I don't think she can control fire as well as Zuko, because he's a fire bender. She just kind of manipulates when it burns. She can make things catch fire, but she can't control where the fire goes. <laughs> Who has the ability to freeze water? That would be Emma. In later seasons, she can freeze anything she likes, even if there isn't any water around. Because technically, there's water vapor in the air. That's how she was able to freeze Miriam, even though Miriam wasn't wet. And finally, who can manipulate water? That would be Cleo. In later seasons, she's able to use her abilities to manipulate wind, too. Yeah. Who is Louis? Cleo's childhood friend turned boyfriend. Louis has known Cleo since he was five years old and became a very close friend to the girls when they became mermaids. He's super interested in science and ends up dating Cleo in later episodes. Who is Bella? She's another mermaid. Bella appears in season three to take over Emma's role as she leaves to travel the world with her family. Her abilities include turning water into a jelly or completely solid. Yeah, that has got to be the weirdest power I've ever heard. All the others got fire, ice, and water manipulation, and so I guess they had to give Bella something. So they choose jelly. The girls lose their powers at the end of the first season. How does this happen? They were in the moon pool during a lunar eclipse. But they only lasted for 12 hours. The girls lose their powers for 12 hours during the lunar eclipse when Dr. Damon catches on to them. When they demonstrate their loss of power, she loses interest and leaves them alone. Yet, the picture here is from season two of when they dropped Charlotte into the moon pool to take away her tail forever. Which Aussie heartthrob joined the show in season three? Luke Mitchell. Will appears in season three as a free diver and quickly discovers the girl's secrets. He falls in love with Bella soon after they begin, and they begin a whirlwind romance. And that's one way of putting it. Complete the lyric. Cause I'm no ordinary girl, I'm from the deep blue underworld, land of sea. I've got the power if I just believe. Sorry, I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah, definitely the most iconic theme song in Aussie television. And finally, what year did the last episode air? Well, the last episode aired when I was... 10, almost 11, so that would be 2010. 14 out of 14, correct. You scored 100%. You're either a hardcore H2O Just Add Water fan or you're an actual real life mermaid. Either way, you absolutely aced this test. Uh, it's actually kind of both. Um, so, yeah. <gasps> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did manage to take the quiz along with me, let me know how well you did in the comments down below. Because I am actually very curious. And... Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!